You see, what really happens normally when you talk about a management change? A management change normally happens if the top management finds that a particular branch office or a particular management unit is not functioning. So then the top management will call that particular management unit and say, Deko bhaiya, you get off management. We will take control over your unit. We will plan for your unit. We will tell you how to operate and we will take control of your unit. This is what happens when a top management finds that a unit, an operational unit or a business unit is not functioning properly or is inefficient. Now, if a top management sees that a unit is functioning phenomenally well, if a unit is functioning phenomenally well and if their intention is to ensure that this unit performs much more then what they are performing currently, give them more boost to perform currently, then what they do is they call the unit head, first of all congratulate him and then tell him, ke bhaiya batao, hum kya kare tumhare liye? Can I give you more? Can I invest more money in you so that you can perform better than what you are performing now? You are anyway performing well, help you to perform better than what you are performing. Or the management will ask you, can I give you consultancies? Can I help you with consultants? Can I get you the best across the globe? Can I get you best uh, uh, infrastructure from across the globe? Brains from across the globe? Do you want to add more people to your team? Can I help you to add more people to your team? Can I invest so that you can add more people to your team? That is how you ensure a unit which is performing well. You ensure that the unit outperforms itself. That's how you ensure. This is what fair play is. Now I will tell you what am I talking about and why am I talking all this. You see the Niti Aayog will draft an economic master plan for Mumbai Metropolitan Region MMR to help raise gross domestic product of the city from the existing $140 billion to $300 billion by 2030. People familiar with the matter said that the meeting between Maharashtra Chief Minister Ekna Shinde and the top officials of the Central Public Policy Think Tank had made this decision. Juxtapose what I just said here. Mumbai is the commercial capital of the country. Mumbai is doing 140 billion. They are saying that we are going to make Mumbai 300 billion. Who is saying that? People sitting there in Delhi in the center. Who made Mumbai Mumbai? Mumbai was made Mumbai by the Maharashtra administration. So now you are going to trust the central administration, the top management. I'm, I'm going back to my story. Now, the top management is asking a management that is supposedly doing good because they are doing 140 billion that tum hat jao, abhi hum aayenge. I will take over the management. I will put a think tank for you. How is this logical? So, either the center has to believe that Maharashtra government currently Ekna Shinde government, which is run by them and uh, Ekna Shinde, Shiv Sena and uh, uh, Bharatiya Janata Party is useless. They cannot run this uh, management. They cannot manage it. So they require extra intelligence coming from center. Or the reason for doing this is something else. The reason for doing this is something else. You see, all these years from 1946 to now, Mumbai has been doing exceptionally well as far as economic growth is concerned. What is that has changed? What is the central think tank going to come and do in Mumbai, which people in Mumbai already cannot do? If people in Mumbai can make it 140 crores, 140 billion, I'm sorry, 140 billion dollars, then why can't they make it 300 billion dollars? Help from here and there is always welcome. But the fact is, if you are going to make the Niti Ayo come and plan this and make this into Mumbai metropolitan region like you have the NCR in, in, in Delhi, then the intentions are different. Secondly, Are Bhaiya, Mumbai is one of the most professionally run cities. It's run brilliantly. And you are going to get some people who could never make a Mumbai. 
It is not that the team that is coming to Mumbai has made 10 Mumbais and now they are saying that okay we are going to or they have made a Singapore or they have made a Hong Kong or they have made a, 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 a New York. They have made all this and now they are saying that you know how we made Hong Kong, how we made New York, how we made uh, 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 Singapore. We are going to come and we are going to make uh, Mumbai like that. Okay, that also I one could understand. Okay, okay, these guys have made so many cities. Now they are going to make Mumbai happen. Are, who are these people? What is this think tank? Why are these think tanks better than the think tank we already have in Maharashtra? The point that I am going, I am trying to say is this move, this move seems to be, to me, this is my opinion, seems to be more politically driven than to actually help Mumbai. This seems to be a way to control Mumbai by the center because the center would always like to control Mumbai because Mumbai is the financial capital. It is the capital hub of this country and the central government will always try to control Mumbai. Especially when the central government has doubts that in the near future, maybe they may not be able to establish their government in the state. That is when the central government will start thinking of the backdoor entry. Something very similar to what they have tried in Delhi. Something very similar to what they have tried in Delhi. Because in my opinion, again, my opinion, this is going the same route. This is going the same route where you first say, Planning will be done by us. Then you say, therefore, because planning is done by us, operation has to be done by us. Then when you say planning is done by us, operation is done by us, administration has to be done by us. And then they say, Hum sabhi kar rahe, to fir we will control the city. This is the way it is going. In fact, our chief minister, Mr. Shinde expressed gratitude to the Prime Minister Narendra Modi for including MMR in the four cities and are part of the pilot project to make them the growth hub and announced a dedicated team of senior officials. He added that the master plan will help the state raise its contribution to the country's GDP from 13%. You see, helping a state grow is fine. Helping a state grow is good. Growing GDP for a state which is which will in turn help the country to grow its GDP, fabulous. But backdoor entry of management, backdoor entry of coming and taking control over the state is bad. This looks the latter and not the former. That's the point I wanted to make till I see you next time and I'll stick to this topic. I'm going to give you more insight on this topic as I receive it. Till I see you next time. Namaskar.